All right, so we're going to be bending a three bend saddle in two inch conduit using the Greenlee 855 Smart Bender. And so looking at our chart, our manual for our bender, to bend a three bend saddle, they're requiring that we go from to length minus Z for our first bending mark, L1 to bending mark two, and L2 to bending mark three, according to here, and you'll notice the angle here that's required. So when I'm doing the calculations for this, I'm going to the center of the three bend saddle at 42 inches from the coupling or connector or whatever to the center of the obstruction. And we're going over a four and a half inch obstruction. So the first mark is length minus Z, 42 minus the value that we figure out. But what we find out is when we look at the manual that we're seeing the values for the degrees that the bending is two inches, four inches, six inches, eight inches, 10, et cetera, for this, but it doesn't show four and a half. So what we need to do is we need to find the values for the four inch and then the six inch obstructions for the two inch EMT. So what I did was I put those values up here and we've got the value for L1 at 15 degrees at 15.44 and the value for L1 at 15 degrees for six inches at 23.17. The value for L2 at 15 at 18 and 25.73 for the six inch, and for Z at 15 degrees, four inches is 23, six inches is 30.47, and we need to break this down so that way I can get the increment of four and a half inches. So what I did was I started with Z first because that's our first calculation. And we found out that Z for six inches was 30.47 minus the 23 for the four inch, and I had a difference of 7.47 for the distance between them. And then I made four subdivisions, one, two, three, four. So I divided that 7.47 by four, and I got a value of 1.86. So if I add a value of 1.86 to the 23, I get a value of 24 and 7 eighths. So I take the 42 minus the 24 and 7 eighths, and I wind up at 17 and an eighth inches for the first bending mark. The second bending mark, L1, 23.17 minus the 15.44, I wind up with a difference of 7.73, divide that by four, and I get a difference 1.93. So I have to add 1.93 to the 15.44 negative value of 17.37, or 17 and 3 eighths, 17 and 3 eighths, and I add that to the first bending mark, and I wind up at 34 and a half inches for bending mark two. For bending mark three, I did figure out L2, I had 25.73 minus the 18, 7.73, same as the other one, divided it by four and had a value of 1.93 for the outcome. So I added 1.93 to the 18 and I got 19.93, should almost call it 20. So I added 20 to the 34 and a half and I got 54 and a half inches. So we figured out how to get our calculations from our bending chart in the manual for the four and a half inches by figuring out the calculations, breaking this up incre incrementally. If it was four and a quarter, we would have to divide that by eight. Quarter, 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 quarter. But this goes only half, so we divided it by four. So if we were using the standard pennant, we would do our calculations from the chart, figuring it out this way. But we're going to use the deluxe pen, which is automatically going to do the calculations for us so we don't have to do them, and we'll see how close we get. Okay, we're looking at the Greenlee deluxe pennant for the 855 Smart Bender. And on here, you can see the screen where there's some red buttons, and then there's some yellow buttons, and then the white buttons with some numbers. Under the screen here, it says select the conduit size. 
So we've got half inch, three quarter, one inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, and two inch. And so we're gonna bend a three bench saddle in two inch EMT. So I'm gonna hit the number two. It says select the conduit type. Notice there's a button with EMT IMC rigid. It also, if you hit it again, so I hit EMT, it'll say EMT two times IMC three times rigid. If I hit it the fourth time, it says two inch aluminum. Or if I hit it the fifth time, it says PVC for the PVC coated conduit. So we're bending EMT. So this button has like five settings. EMT, IMC, rigid, aluminum, and PVC coated conduit. We're on two inch EMT. It says press, bend, and unload to set the home position or select the type or bend. Well, we can set home. So we'll go to unload. And we go to about the, it's about the five o'clock position and I'll hit bend. And it'll start reading degree numbers. You'll start to see it reading degrees. Then if I hit unload, it goes to the home position. So we're ready to bend the conduit. So we'll hit enter and it says set home position or select angle. Well, the angle on the three bench saddle in the manual using the standard pennant, it says to use the side bend angle of 15 degrees with the 30 degree center bend. So we use the angle of 15 degrees to figure out the calculations in the manual. With the deluxe pennant, we have to use the 30 degree center bend as the reference for the angle. So to set, set the angle at 30 degrees, three, zero, enter. And it says two inch EMT, 30 degrees, press bend to set the home position. Well, we're, we're ready for that. We already did that. So it should be able to go to the type of bend that we're doing. Select type of bend. Now, there's a stub up that we can bend a 90 degree stub up and there's offset. There's two different types of offsets. There's the offset where you control the bend, the first bend, or there is the offset where you control the second bend. So you're going over the top of an obstruction and then going down. So select the angle, 30 degrees. Well, see, notice if I hit offset, it says offset. If I hit offset again, it says offset two, controlling the second bend. So we're gonna actually bend a three bend saddle. So just know that you hit offset once, for the regular offset controlling the first bend, hit it twice for controlling the second bend, or hit it three times for the U-bend, where you've got two 90 degree bends in the shape of a U. Now there's a saddle. We're bending a three bend saddle. If you hit it a second time, it says four bend saddle, or you have two offsets that are in the same plane that are going for a four bench saddle. Or if you hit it a third time, it'll go back to saddle. So either you got a three bench saddle or you got a four bench saddle. So know that these buttons, you can hit them more than once to get the different bends that you want. So we're doing a three bench saddle. So select the angle, 30 degrees, enter. Select the height. Our height was four and a half inches. So we got four and a half inches, hit enter. And then our length, our length was 42 inches. So we hit enter. And it gives us the measurements for mark one being 17.14, 17 and an eighth, which we got when we did our calculations from our manual. Mark two equals 17.36 or 17 and three eighths which we added to the 17 and an eighth and got 34 and a half. 
Or we can, when we mark it out on the condo, we'll just mark it from the first mark, 17 and 3 eighths from the first mark. And then mark three, the last bending mark at 19.92, which was so close to 20 that we called it 20, or we wound up with a total of 54 and a half inches. So it tells us press enter to go on, set the front of the hook at mark one and bend till the bender stops and rotate the conduit 180 degrees. So we're ready to start bending the conduit. All right, so we were using the deluxe pendant and it was given in our measurements. And we had 17 and an eighth to our first mark. We had 17 and three eighths to our second mark or 34 and a half total. And then we had 20 inches for our third mark. So 54 and a half inches total or 20 inches from the 34 and a half to the 54 and a half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this conduit all the way around so that way I can see the mark no matter where I'm at in relationship to the bender and the conduit, I will be able to see the mark because I have to rotate this 180 degrees for the bends as they go around. going to double check my mark to make sure that it's at 54 and a half and 34 and a half, 54 and a half, 34 and a generous amount here, but it's 34 and a half and then 17 and an eighth. So we're ready to bend the conduit. Okay, one of the things that we have to recognize is that we have to plug the pennant into the side of the unit prior to us turning the unit on. So that way, the pennant and the machine are talking to each other. And so now I can hear it clicking and it's running and it's working its way up. Greenlee 855 Smart Bender, select the conduit size. The conduit size was two inch. So we hit the red button, two inch. Select the conduit type, EMT, EMT. Now it says press, bend, unload to set the home position or select the type of bend. So we want to set it and make sure that it's in the home position. So I'm going to hit unload. Until the hook of the shoe is at about the five o'clock position. Then it says bend. So I hit bend. And it will start to read degrees up to seven degrees, I a little slow there. But anyway, seven degrees, so we hit bend, and then when I hit unload again, it should stop in the home position, and there's home. So we're ready to go to the type of bend. So select the angle, 30 degrees, enter. Type of bend. Three bend saddle. Select the angle. Enter. Select the height. Our height was four and a half inches. 4.5. Enter. Select the length. The length to the center of the bend was 42 inches. 42 inches. Enter. It gives us the marks one, two, and three, 17 and an eighth, 17 and three eighths, and 20. Press enter to go on. Set the front of the hook at mark one and bend till the bender stops and rotate the conduit 180 degrees for the next bend. So we're going to set this up to where the conduit is inside the bender. And we're going to line this mark up with the front of the hook of the shoe. And so I'm going to lift that up a little bit, push that in forward, there it's lined up. Now notice that there's kind of a, a wobble here between the hook of the shoe and the roller. So I'm going to go ahead and get that line back up again. And then I'm going to bring the rollers home because we need to use the rollers for inch and a half and two inch EMT.
line that up. The cam is all the way down. And I'm going to hold the conduit up because you'll notice there's some flex there. If we don't put it and hold it up against the hook of the shoe, if I just left it against the rollers, when this goes, it might slap. And I've actually seen it where it comes undone. The rollers collapse, and then you've got to go through and redo it again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold that up against the front of the hook of the shoe, and I'm going to bend the conduit. It says hold bend, and you want to make sure that you hold it in the bend mode the whole way till it stops, so that way you don't have to jog it. Bend. And it stopped at 15 degrees. I hit unload. And it's going to stop before it hits the rollers. And I'm going to release the roller carefully so I don't pinch my fingers. And then I'm going to have to keep bending, put this in unload mode so it goes to home. So unload. And it stopped at home. Now I can move the conduit through and I can line up the second mark with the front of the hook of the shoe and I want to make sure that the conduit is going to be straight up and down in the same plane so that way it won't be dog-legged. So that looks pretty good. I think we're going to be okay. So, I'm going to double check to make sure that my line matches up with the front of the hook of the shoe. I'm going to look over the top, check it for dog leg, and I'm going to put it in bend mode, and it should bend to 30 degrees. Oh, wait a minute. Forgot to put the roller up. There we go. And there's 30 degrees. So I hit unload. Take the roller out. Push this through. with the front of the hook of the shoe. Check it for dog leg. I'm going to bring the rollers home. Make sure that cam is all the way down. And I should be able to hit bend. goes 15 degrees, hit unload, take the roller out, and we have a three pin saddle, it should be four and a half inches, so let me grab a piece of conduit. This conduit is four and a quarter inches so it should go over the top of this conduit does and then is it 42 inches to the center 
42 inches to the center of the bend. Then we bent a three bend saddle with a two inch EMT using the 855 Smart Bender.